It's like a ghost town. You walk through spaces where I can envision when there would be thousands and thousands of people there and it's empty and quiet. And that's not what a museum is about. Well, of course, there's always rumors of various people's ghosts that walk around with you when you're in the various parts of the exhibit hall. I've never actually encountered one of them, so everything's been very quiet. Working in the pandemic has been, been very interesting. We have not been able to work at the speed we would normally do to put an exhibit together because we can't have several crews here together at the same time. And we've actually had to change the kind of exhibit that we put on. So we've had to remove most of the touchable elements of our exhibition, and we've had to modify interactive elements where you can operate them with a foot pad instead of using your hands. This animal is over 30, or has been tracked for over 30 years. It's a big adult male. It had several offspring, of which we've, the offspring themselves have been tracked. That's a very low number, uh, but it's not impossible for them to recover. They had 13 young this year. Uh, and the, pro the prospects for us to maintain the species are to reduce the number of mortalities, the human-induced mortalities that are, have been occurring uh, on the East Coast. We've been collecting masks from this period and saying, how do we want to, uh, how do we want to collect in a way that five years and 25 years from now, we'll have objects in our collection and we'll be able to present them in exhibitions that will help people understand one of the strangest times in our recent history.